Hello world! A another YouTube video has caught my attention. This time it's about something that is um, more disgusting than I could have ever imagined. If you haven't seen it, I wouldn't want anybody to see it other than as an example of how not to parent your child. It's called Judge William Adams Beats His Daughter. In this video you see a teenage girl. I believe that she has cerebral palsy of some type. She has gotten beaten a lot of times in the past, so she wants to catch her dad doing this. So she leaves the camera in her bedroom. You see her come in and her dad come in, and they're having an argument about her downloading music on the internet illegally when she wasn't supposed to. By the way, this happened when Napster was huge, so she was downloading it illegally, but so was the vast majority of the world. And I know that that doesn't make it right, but I mean, this is kind of the punishment that she got for something that lots and lots of people do. He tells her, I told you not to do this, and then the video goes on for about eight minutes straight, and he grabs the belt and begins to beat her on her arms, her back, her butt, her legs, swear at her, and call her names, and belittle her, and do all kinds of really disgusting stuff. If that video isn't bad enough, there's more that comes with this story. Again, the girl is not only a 16-year-old girl in the video, but she's also disabled. She has cerebral palsy. Not only that, but this man, her father, is a judge in, child in the child protective area. So he's seeing abuse cases like this. He's the one who makes the decision whether those people are punished or not punished. Yet another terrible fact about this is that he now has a 10-year-old daughter who he's trying to gain sole custody of. If you see the video, you see that the mother is also participating. She says, let me get a lick in, and it's really disturbing, and she takes the belt and whips her daughter as well. She has come out since then to say that she was kind of manipulated and brainwashed by this abuser, and I see kind of a, a little bit of evidence of that in the video because... She actually says right in the beginning, I already spanked her, as if to try to save her daughter from what was about to happen. But then once he gets in it and he starts being controlling of both of them, then she's in on it as well. I already made a video about why child abuse doesn't work, and so I'm just going to link that and not really go over those parts of it. But I'll talk about this instance in particular. A lot of people are saying that Hillary is a spoiled, rotten brat and that she's manipulative because she held on to this video for years before she released it. And when her father decided to cut her off, I guess he stopped paying for things because she quit college, that's when she decided to release it. I understand how people can see this as being manipulative, but that shows really a lack of understanding of how abused children act. Abused children don't get a really good concept of what right and wrong is. They behave out of fear instead of out of understanding. If you think of it this way, say that there's a criminal and he's going to go to somebody's house and murder the family and rob them blind. And on his way there, he sees a cop driving by next to their house. At that moment, the man decides that he doesn't want to commit this crime anymore and he goes home. Now, do you think that this guy did it because he understood his actions were wrong, or do you think that he didn't do it because he was afraid of his consequences? This is the same thing that we see in abused kids. They don't understand what's right and wrong, they just understand that certain things make them get hit. This means that they're confused. They don't know how to live the way that you want them to live. They just know how to avoid getting hit. And in doing this, these kids learn how to lie, manipulate, and all of those other things. If Hillary is a spoiled brat, as some people have said, how do we think that she got that way in the first place? Are kids just born with demands for Mercedes and to have everything that they own paid for? No, they're not. When a child is handed everything, everything, from birth, as it's clear that Hillary was and never had to work for anything, it's hard for them to understand how to do that when they're an adult. Because if you don't teach them that at a young age, then how are they supposed to learn when you push them off and tell them to go be on their own? There's no possible way that they would know how to be responsible if you have done everything for them in the past. In regards to the money and Mercedes and things like that, Oftentimes, somebody who is abusing somebody else tries to make up for that by buying them material things. They often call this compensation for guilt. And that just means that they're trying to make up for the awful things that they're doing by something that doesn't actually fix, with something that doesn't actually fix the problem, with Mercedes and 
college and all of these monetary things that he was buying for her. To me, I've worked with a lot of different kids, as I've stated, probably just over 300 different kids in the shelter that I used to work at because there was a high turnover rate and kids would come in and out. And every one of those kids had extreme, extreme behaviors, <clears throat> but we didn't hit one of them to control them. We gave them time out. We gave them consequences that fit their actions so they would know, if I do this, then this happens. It wasn't out of fear. It was out of respect that they, they learned how to control themselves because they understood the difference between right and wrong. So you can't tell me that some kids are just too out of control because I have honestly seen every type of behavior that you could think of with these kids in the shelter, and none of them were too out of control for a timeout or other consequences. Since it's so clear in the video that Hillary disobeys, as he says, her father numerous times, I mean, that's why she got spanked, isn't it? Then somebody explained to me why he continued to buy and give her everything that she ever wanted and needed. I mean, if you had a bad child, somebody who was disrespecting you and not listening to what you said, would it make sense to go and buy them everything they ever wanted? No. However, it would make sense for somebody who is abusing somebody else to buy them things. And it would also make sense for the victim to be manipulative because they use that guilt against the abuser to get things that they want out of them. Some people are saying that what happened to this girl was nothing, that this happens all the time, blah, blah, blah. That makes me very sad for you and whatever you went through in your life because that just shows that if you think this is normal, then what is bad for you? You must have a very, very low bar of morality set if you think that something like this, a 16-year-old girl being beaten by a grown man with a belt for downloading music on the internet is normal, then what is abuse to you, I guess, is the scary question. I find it interesting that many of the people on this video that are supporting the judge that say, I was beaten and I turned out just fine, are angry, attacking, and name-calling. It seems to me like the only thing abuse has taught these people is how to solve their problems with violence and anger. If you are one of the people that support the judge in the video, I invite you to, one, find any <laughs> credible professional that agrees that this is uh, punishment that fits the crime, and two, bring this video to any child care center, school, um, parent of well-behaved children. Look for the best behaved children and the most functioning families that you can find and show them this video and ask if they think that it's normal. I guess that's kind of your answer. It frustrates me that people choose to ignore thousands of researchers who did years of research on this topic. I mean, those people have PhDs and they worked only on this. They know better than what you would know and what I would know. I think it's important to look at the pattern that happens when the judge comes into the room. I think that it shows that this has happened numerous times before. I mean, he walks in, he tells the little sister to get out. If there was nothing wrong with what he was doing, why would she have to leave? And he turns off the light so that the neighbors don't see. Again, if he wasn't doing anything wrong, why does he have to turn the light off so nobody sees him? Some people are blaming Hillary because she took this video and because she used it against him some years later. But the bottom line is, if the guy didn't do anything wrong in the first place, she wouldn't have any blackmail against him. If she was just an out-of-control, angry, bitter teenager, but she had stable and good parents, then she would never have a video like this to bring out against them.